Welcome to YouTube Excel Finance Trick number six. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, click on my college website link, and then download the workbook Excel Finance Tricks 1 to 17. Hey, trick number six, we're going to see the rate function. And we're going to see the rate function to calculate an adjusted percentage rate. Hey, on some loans, you have points. It's some sort of fee to initiate the whole process. So when they take 2%, you're really not getting the whole 200000 So we want to see how to use the rate function because they'll quote you 5% annual rate or whatever it is. But it's a little bit higher because you don't get to use all your cash. I'm going to click right here in the cell and type equals R-A-T-E. Equals R-A-T-E. And with all financial functions, and we've been looking at a lot of these in this series, the important thing about all the arguments is that the unit is the same. So if you're using monthly rate, you're going to need total months and the payment has to be monthly payment. If you're using quarter, then it would have to be a quarterly rate, total quarters, and quarterly payment. Hey, the other thing that's important is cash flow. you got to know when it's negative and when it's positive. Always use your wallet reference. If it's coming into your wallet, it's positive. If it's going out, it's negative. Hey, the rate is going to need our NPER, which is the total number of periods. So for us, it's months. And I'm going to hit comma. You can see how the formula is starting to evolve down here. Oop, I'm going to move that little screen tip. And then it needs payment. And we have to be careful here. This cash flow matters. Payment. If we're making a payment, that's going out of our wallet. So it's negative. And sure enough, it's negative. So I'm going to click right there. Comma. The next argument is going to be present value. Now here's where we got to do our little trick. We can't just click here. And by the way, this is positive because when you take out a loan, that cash is coming into your wallet. We can't just click right there. See, I have C11. We have to uh, put the C11 in, and then we have to go like this. Times, open parentheses, 1 minus the points. And 1 minus 0 0.02 is 0.98. So the present value is going to be 0.98 times this 200K. Then the final argument, if we had any amount left over to pay at the end. We'd have a future value type we don't need because this is going to be, we're going to use the default, which is at the end. You can see here I put type 0 equals n, 1 equals begin. That means the payment at the begin. And guess, that's for iterations that get real big. Ours are not going to get that big, so we can just close parentheses. Now, you got to watch out and be careful. Everything in financial function is in the unit that it's in. We have months, total months, monthly rate, payment. So this thing is going to pop out what? If I hit Enter, 40.44. You mean the uh, adjusted rate is less than 1%? No way. That is the monthly rate. So we have to click in this cell, hit F2, and edit it. I'm going to click right here. Click on the total number of periods, 12, and then times. Remember, any function, this whole function right here, that's just um, when it evaluates, it's just a number. So Excel just thinks of it as a number. So it's whatever that rate is times num total number of periods. When we hit Enter, we get our actual effective rate, uh, our adjusted rate, I mean. It's not annual rate APR of 5%. Our adjusted rate, given our points and our number of compounding periods, is 5.31. All right, we'll see you next Excel Finance trick.